Nation Extra. Sabini, man, it's a privilege to have you here, sir. Blessings, Thank you man. for coming down. Thank you for having me, man. I tell you what, I, I got so gassed when we walked into Sexy Tuesdays and then yeah. Shawnee B was like, let's go and say hello to Beanie Man. I'm like, why? Beanie Man? <laughs> yes, mate. In the dance? Yes, Rasta. Is that important to you to still stay in the dance? Well, it's, 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 it's always, always important to be in the dance hall because if, you're, if you as a dance hall artist, it's always important for you to be there. Now, I don't go to every dance. Don't get it twisted. I don't go everywhere that the pandak is in. Yeah. But then sometime um, I choose a night I work in the studio. Okay. Then when I have nothing to do, it's, it's most like one thirty, two o'clock when all the work done. You see it. So you end up at Sexy Choose it. And you probably end up at Bossy at times. Yes. But it's not every time mm -hmm. I'm there. But when I have a time, I go to Sexy Choosers because it's a nice vibes, nice party, you know, and they, them, them actually know what they're doing. Yeah. And they play nice music, mm -hmm. and there's sexy girls there. And the dancers. Yeah. Now I, I so I get a chance to figure vibes of what Kingston is. I hear you. Yes. I saw, but I saw you busting two, two moves. Yeah, you have a bust two move too, you know, because <laughs> <laughs> the music I play. So, you know, we, we, when music hits, you feel no pain. You know, it just make you move every V and, you know, it's just a natural thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to take you back. So the idea of this is that we want to tell your story through music. My story. And we uh, want to take you right back. So I was reading somewhere that you come from a family that, that made music back in the day. Yeah, well, um, some part okay. of my family made music back in the day. Okay. Like my uncle, he was a percussionist for Jimmy Cliff before he died, you know. Mom, my grandfather came from Ethiopia. I don't know what he does, but he's, he was the president of the Ethiopian Federation in Jamaica for Ethiopia. So I've met a lot of artists through his contact, mm -hmm. you know, like the Peter Tash and the Jimmy Cliff and the Jays and, you know, the, the Black and Oro and all of these people. I, I meet them in a me yard, you know. Wow. So, yeah, from my earlier days, I've been knowing these musicians and these big superstars, you know, from then. How did that affect you? You see, no, I am the king of the dancer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How did that affect me? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can't. You see, all right, as a kid, all right, I started music when I was five, mm -hmm. but I started long before that because um, I was born a stammer kid, you know? Everything I said, it took me five minutes to say one word. Really? Yeah, yeah, ta -ta 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 -ta. yeah I was that kid. You know, I like to say, my name is, and the mic can come up, mama, 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 couldn't come up. Wow. Some end up saying, Jack and Jill went up the hill to catch a pail of water, Jackie. So I said, what go on? So oh, I can say that fluently, I can't talk. <laughs> so I end up saying everything. You send me to the shop, I <laughs> sing the shop list. <laughs> send me to the bookstore, I sing the book list, I <laughs> sing everything. Boy. Yeah, so that's how I start to really talk to people, singing. So um, when we start go to basic school in Nuego, you have to learn to do the ABC something. Yeah. And the, I am a boy and I am a big boy and all of them something there. Yeah. When the teacher says my time to read, it was excitement in the class because everybody know me to sing. Because they know me can't talk. So I say, I am a boy, now I go work. I, 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 now work. So I am a boy. What? I am a boy. A very big boy, yeah, a very big boy. I am a boy, yeah, I am a boy. A very big boy, a very big boy. <laughs> I climb a tree, yes, I climb a tree. T R E E, yeah, that's spell tree. I climb a tree, yeah, I, I just re sing everything. <laughs> so so, so they're your first lyrics? Yes, yeah, so I hear in the classroom, I hear. Put me on the dance. <laughs> so you end up that teacher put you last to read. Mm. Because they know your reading is going to be entertaining. So you study off to read the book and study off to put it in a song because you cannot read this book out. Because it's going to take you 25 minutes when it's supposed to take you one minute mm. to read one page. <laughs> you see, less than a minute it's supposed to take. But it's going to take you 25 minutes wow. to read one page. So you just sing the one page. And then in a matter of 20 seconds and the whole class will move. So when they're done, they go, like, 
classroom. First forward in the yeah, classroom. First forward. <laughs> first forward in the classroom. So for about two years, I was in my yard DJing. So we, we, we have a thing called every Wednesday night where everybody come and, you know, regardless of where you're from in the community, you come and DJ. Mm -hmm. So I have the privilege to see like the likes of a John Wayne. You, you know who John Wayne is. Yeah. Call the police for me. Yeah. And you have Tullity. You know, it's me, it's, um, tell it, not giving her this, not giving her that, not giving me that, not that, just giving me that, I just want to put that in on my you know, papi, can you know, that the lot of emails are not a like, fantastic, 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 automatic, 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 yeah, so, yes. we had a chance to know them DJs, and Pompidou, you have um, singers like Johnny Asburn, you have singers like Juna Reed, Half Pint, all of these singers, used to come inside of my yard, you know, Chaka Demos, all of these DJs used to come inside Boy. of my yard. See? All right, good. We just want you know, still. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so we're talking levels. Yes, of music. So I have to study them and they answer. I want to be one of those. Mm. So, at seven now, Gemini decided to come play in a my lane. Remember, me live right as on the dance, I keep right there, sir. So Gemini a player. They're seven year old, they don't have to go to bed. Because, you see, it's a weekend and my mother watched me, so I'm done go to go buy me tonight. You don't want another beating? Yeah, I'm getting me it. Please, another. just what? <laughs> see, so, I'm waiting for my mother to drop asleep, you know? Go through the window and thing, you know? Because I'm done with my thing lined up and everything. But my big, I never know some my big brother won't go to dance to. Right. So, him could have come out of the house, because I'm a 15, 16, bigger man for me. So, him could have come out of the house, but him staying at the house with me. But let me through the window. So we can't, we can't go by the next door, DJ. Oh so I'm let me through the window now and him pull the door. So my mother get up when the door pull, because you know, you get here and you pull the big locks, so you have to pull it. Clum! Mother wake up and say, Oh, pull the door! And say, Me, Mama, what do you know? I'm asleep. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Black up the door. So my mother shouldn't wake up that time, you know. Because I'm supposed to take him time and pull the door. Do <laughs> you think he was trying to get you caught? Anyways. <laughs> but never get caught coming out of the house. <laughs> but my mother wake. So me they cross the road now and Johnny Ringo was on the microphone and I went there and my whole hand on him pants with and shake him pants with so one time. And then I said, oh, where the last? And then put me upon the, the, the van and I said, Yo, some people walk with them picnic and them thing that the people that live in the yard. So when I pick them, wake up here, you know, where your mother name? And give me the mic. So run the rhythm select. <laughs> 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 and that was it, God. <laughs> so start DJing the place, start mash up. My mother wake up out of her bed, come for me now to dance now. And the people them start saying, Low the youth, let go the youth. Make the youth prosper, but DJ and rare and she, and she eventually put me down. I'ma go back, go hold the mic and the place start mash up. So I, you know, no parents don't like to be shamed. You know that. No, very true. Like seriously, yeah. if your mother come for your one party and she shamed, you know you are get the whole I shamed when you go. Home. Oh yes. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so three weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you win? Yeah. Wasn't it like the tasty? The tasties. That that had before tasties. This how okay. I practice to enter tasties. Really? So you so you so you 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 setting the foundation for this competition? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, me never planned for enter tasties competition. Me that's why I know still. Okay. Is is when me realize that artists have to look like artists. Back in those times, mm -hmm. I will have to enter tasties because. I don't enter tasties for the competition to be popular. I enter tasties for the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't give you one year supply. Okay, <laughs> Them give you one year supply of party. Not one party, you know. Them give you a whole box. Yeah. A whole box of parties. <laughs> so, so you get the parties and the cocoa bread. And then you, 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 you get an eater that eat the party. And then you sell the party at the school gate. Now, to be an artist, you have to look the part. Now, you have to yeah. have tailor-made suits and all of these things. I never know, sir. 
artists did poor before them becomes who they <laughs> yeah, I just say artists and them have a kangal and have a big chain and they look like an artist. I never know where they come from. Separation time. Mm. And probably the kangal is the only kangal they have. But him look to him look the part. Yeah. No, I am a kid now. I need two kangals. I don't need one. I need three kangals because <laughs> the artists them are wear kangals yeah. to match them suit and all of these things. Is when I enter tastes with the first year I lost to Yellow Man, and I couldn't win that competition because Yellow Man, regardless of his, his name, is Yellow Man. He have on a yellow sweatsuit, he have on a yellow cap, he have on a yellow shoes, he have on a yellow glasses. And him sing a song and say, she have me yellow, baby. It's all yellow, dog. It's, it's, there's nothing else you could do. You couldn't win that competition. Right? Like, seriously. It's, yeah. The next year, like age eight, I enter back tastes. Yeah, for the party. No, 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 no. So, I'm already popular, you see? Yeah. So I'm going to bounce now, win the competition now. Tastes, I win this year. I won, like with flying colors. Nobody could go around me. Because there's no yellow man, there's no yellow sweatsuit. <laughs> there's no yellow glasses. Yeah, no yellow, no yellow glasses. baby. No yellow baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's me now, is it? So it was a beautiful thing. So I got a bam and win that competition. And yeah. So this is where the whole thing starts now. The party selling. Right. So we start the party selling. The party sell like at bread. Because every time the party up about, um, let me say, third, fifth, 25 cents. But I taste this party. Mm. So you can sell it for a 50. Mm. See? One party and a cocoa bread, 75 cents. A murder. Good business, eh? Very Running, good business. Like, very and these, good business. And these are patties you've won, so you've yes, had to one buy year straight. So every weekend, we go for a box of patty. 48, which is four dozen patty. We're done in two days. Finishing two days now. So I'm going to stay. Money like, beer. <laughs> beer money. So we got to turn out. The pants lent, man, them glad for see me. And, yeah, that's it. And the shirt clad, man, them glad for see me. So then I buy my shirt cloth and I buy my pants cloth and you see it, tailor. And now you look. Yeah. The way you need to look as an artist. Yeah, see. <laughs> so when you go to now, you get your kangal and you turn it sideways. Yes. <laughs> Every man want to get the microphone, you know, see. <laughs> you look like business. Yeah, because they want to say that you would look real. Yeah. You see it, yeah. real artist. So that's where I get the swag from. And that's where I get this whole, you know, being professional in the dance hall because you know yeah you have to know your time too yeah. you cannot come on the wrong time no you cannot come in here um, boom, 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 them rhythm they play you have to come in here pa, na, 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 na. the hype of rhythm big yes. artists don't like hype of rhythm because they've never value to the hype of rhythm yet never mm. them artists have a rhythm for the hardcore bass to keep the people them not the dance so when you hear the rhythm start go um Pa-na, pa-na, na, 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 na. You know you got bigger day Jerry are coming. See? And then you got the man who just get the mic. <laughs> <laughs> right this up, you gotta get the mic. Because big artists don't like hype rhythm. So yeah, we get a recording contract. Didn't record for um John Jaland, we did the um Danny Dread thing. Yeah. With the two fancy. Too fancy, yeah. Barry G played my song on the radio. Mm -hmm. Coming from school one day and the song play, I came off at the wrong bus stop. <laughs> That'll do it for you? Yeah. So that day I went to Jammies and I met Bonnie Striker Lee. And he got like, he got tapes on top of tapes. This, this man got tapes like, tapes, tapes, tapes. And he's like, I would like you on every one of them tape, you know? Now, the producer tell you that as a kid. Now, the, all you want to do is record it. Yeah. So producer said, I want to put on every one of these tapes. Man, put on tape. <laughs> I, I made that album in, in two days. Wow. From the lyrics that you've been using in the dances? Yeah, 10 year old DJ Wonder. I made that album in two days. The incredible Beanie Man. Yes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then at what? Age 14, 15, the music changed. 
sound system stop use DJs, sound system start use dub plate. So you have DJ now start the dub plate, you have DJ start record, you have Admiral Bailey, the superstar, you have Zane, mm -hmm. everybody have boss. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? This is now 85, 86, 87, 88, where you have Shabba Rankin, you have all these artists are boss, you have Ninja Man, everybody are boss. We are going to do now at age 17, age 18, 19 year old. What are you going to do? You have to get involved in the music, so I get involved in the music. I start work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard. You know, me end up apart the wrong set of crew, so me end up being jailed. You know, spend some time there and thing. I came out in 1991, April 11 to be exact. Mandela came to Jamaica, and I get released that day. Wow! I went to the National Stadium and I got booed. Big time! I mean, I mean like no little boo, you know what I mean? <laughs> we go say, hey, green, I'm over there, so I'm fine for the Prime Minister at the time. Boy. <laughs> Booed. Big time. How does that make you feel? Make me feel better. Say, so all the sins I have in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Red, clean. <laughs> no, no man can't go through too much wickedness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't go through too much tribulation <laughs> and don't bless. <laughs> so, so, so after jail and then Mandela Bo, come on man, something must good up. Yeah. So I'm go, hey, them I watch you. Hey, them man take. Matey are no good sitting when matey pass all them mama. Take. So me I say, what? Stardom now. Like this is it. So every man I say, Yes, you have your visa, go and find it. You know what I did in my passport? Lift up a mattress and put it down. Really? <laughs> Lock it down. I say, yes. I got Bill a career. So I start Bill it, was, a... it was about stardom at that point. Yeah. It was about a career. It was a career. I, start, I am already a star. Everybody knows who me is. Mm -hmm. So when I go around the microphone, I have to beg you for the mic. For you see me, you know me. Come in, be the man. Everybody know me. Wait, wait. The DJ name me know now when I start DJ with Tunstar, Papa San. Big superstar, Stitchy, big. So warm to me. Mm. <laughs> that was my question. You know? Warm to me. Me end up a part of the wrong set of people. Then me get locked away. Then all me the jailer do is think about music. <laughs> so lyrics are built right. <laughs> <laughs> so, How many know? albums worth did you have oh, when you came God, out? Man, me about twenty five albums worth. <laughs> <like that. laughs> I'm going to ask you. I put an earphone and just record. So we don't start checking by production. From Kirkton time. We done started already before mm -hmm. me even. Because that is the reason why I even get caught up with these people. Because me end up there at Kirkton and people start fighting against the music. You end up, I start bad up people and people start telling us, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. So you end up showing them all about you know? Mm -hmm. She's not right. No. Because he's a singer. You're supposed to show him, say, he's a bad DJ than the DJ we might talk about. Not yeah. a bad man than another person. So you pay the, 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 the price of that. I'm showing all body is. <laughs> See? So now I just want to show people how great I am. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, when Shaq and Vibe come out now, we, we, when I came, I we start produce like every artist in Jamaica. So I went to DF Kelly, DF Kelly, make a rhythm for we call um, Gun na Baggy. Pam, pam, pam. And we put out, she, she, she have the gun in a baggy, she. And then it's the label kick off. And then them start fighting me for, <laughs> for record. But I was so much into producing because I want to establish myself as a musician, yeah. not only as an artist. Yeah. So I want to produce it more and play really more and do everything. Why so, is that important to you though at this point? What? At this point? Yeah, you have to, um, all right. You have a thing named credibility where you have to build. Mm. You have to build that as a producer, build that as a musician, not only as an artist. So a musician where I play for you supposed to know where you want to hear. So if you tell him to play pan up, pan up, pan and I don't want to hear. You don't want to hear pan up, pan up, pum, pan, kum, kan, tum, You don't know want to hear real. that. That's real. See? So if you don't know where you want, I'm going to go play something for you where you don't want. You see? Mm -hmm. And you know the keys and everything. So it's great as a musician, I'm going to this in my camera straight. It's great as a musician to know keys, know the direction, I know the type of music that you want. 
And that takes study. Don't be a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. A man I tell her, say, is yes, I want you to go. And you got this, you got this, you got this. It don't work. You're supposed to know where you want to put yourself. You're supposed to know, say, when you reach that, that status, you're supposed to want to go higher. You're not supposed to want to reverse the thing. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to want to go, you know, go back. So. Mm. And you know, want to stay up on the same level where you start at. No man can stop me. So 1993, some special I keep somewhere else, so I'm a book for some fest. I decide to stay a man to go be a work some fest. I get artist of the year. Um, no, best new coming artist of the year that year. Next year, I get DJ of the year. Sorry. No, best new comer was 1992. Yeah. 93, I get DJ of the year. 94, artist of the year. 95, artist of the year. 96, artist of the year. 97, artist of the year. <laughs> I see a pattern. Ninety <laughs> eight me get my first mobile awards. <laughs> Ninety nine me get my second mobile awards. Two thousand me get the third one. <laughs> Two thousand and one them shared with me and puff daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's so, go back though and take it. Yeah man, nine from nineteen ninety one, we're still there nineteen ninety one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I'm so saying, we're, we're talking about awards. Yeah, we did. We just get I rid of that. I want to talk about your thing. first, can't number one, can't. matey. Matey, you're not good, see. <laughs> the other day, them TV man, and you said, no, the other day, them TV closer, you said, I'm going to cry. Now a girl take your man and he's die. You won't die. See me on the street, and you will ask me why. Look in at yourself and stop crying. And see, that say, matey, you're not good, see. When matey pass all the mama man miss. I never expect that song to go nowhere, dog, because... The man never say, yo, you have to sing about the ladies. Too much gunman thing and too much shooting in Naga work. And this thing, you have to sing about the ladies. And I say, okay. All right. Because I am the original girl in Michigan from morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> it. When it comes to ladies, it's, it's, it's no confusion to build a, a woman's song. See? Yep. Because woman want to kidnap me from me, a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Them like me smile. Every time I smile, them looking at my eye and smile at the same time. Just, <laughs> Done. Then fall. <laughs> Big old woman, they all lift me up and say, Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> yes. so, I've been looking at them sugar forever. Long time. I didn't burn cute, and I tell nobody that. I never was cute. My eyes are dumb. Paul. Philip, I'm here, but my eyes are chop out. Oh, 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 oh. Big Paul Pye. <laughs> See? So, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Something that's happened, I've been transformed. Yeah. It's the lyrics. Yeah. It's the performance. <laughs> it's everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 Something that's happened, I've been transformed, yeah, man. Yeah. Change. Girl, I said, oh, I'm cute, eh? Lion <laughs> <laughs> yeah. girl like this. <laughs> If it wasn't for Disha Gear, my first daughter, hmm. I don't know nothing about cuteness. See? See? So, my daughter looked at me and said, Daddy, you're pretty, you know? I said, Daddy, I have the wall of your face and the wall of your feature. Why do I feel like my mother looks like you? Oi. I said, Why? Well, yes, I'm better looking at your mother. <laughs> <laughs> she said, No, Daddy, I take it too far. <laughs> you're never better looking at your mommy, but. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I know I say, Hot. But if you never had, mommy wouldn't look on you. Real talk. Yeah, so I decided to say, all right, I take the stardom road, no bad man road, no killing people road, no shooting up of people, no um, war with other gangs and me and the gang didn't know why. It never made sense. Mm. So the only argument I have is make music. So I sing a song and say, Man, a bad man, wicked man, no take man for toy. Lucky no me and more, kill and destroy. Then me a bun to kill after, oh, my lyrics! If I got dead! So I go check him. <laughs> Why? If somebody said they might kill you, I'm going to find out they might kill you. Real talk. Oh, so I go look for him. <laughs> go down to my yard, I go check him. I go down there now, I see his mother. She was the counselor for the prison. <laughs> so I see her, I say, Counsel. <laughs> and she said, Are you named being a man? I say, Yeah, you never know. Her. She said, But I know you from a long time. But I never know that you now come out and go and good and think. Are you my son who I kill? 
I should have some chicken back and some rice now and two flour around my place. I'm going to get some of my food from our, yeah, some lemonade and thing and there. That's mm. something else I want to kill do with music. Mm. Him now do with shooting and chop off and they kill it. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, so now me decide to say, all right, at that time I do, me can do that too. So me and him clash two time and after that, me decide to say, me done with clashing. So me, I got the girls in there. <laughs> and me do but, the, but the clashes... Trash is nice, man. The Trash led is boss, man. 93 sting. Trash is make man hot. Listen, man. Man's hot after clashes, man. <laughs> People start look at me, man. Different, man. Man's hot after that, man. Man have to take off them jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, because man's get hot. Real yeah. talk. <laughs> man's get hot. Real yeah. hot. Fireside, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> But one thing we can read, one particular fire, you know, and keep my toes where I'm supposed to be at. Mm. So, anytime I say something, I mean this, ready to say back something else. So, regardless of where I was going within the whole concept of building my career to be an international artist, I always have a core audience. Yeah. We need to hear that because that is what we're going on in Jamaica. Never that going on foreign, it was going on here. So, regardless, you get the big song of foreign and you get the billboard chart. They're not busy with that Jamaica. You depend on the British national chart. Where that have to do with Jamaica? Mm. That are England. <laughs> Jamaica, they might do it. So, Bunty Killer now keep in the part where you're supposed to be at. So, when we come off a tour now, and Bunty Killer sing a song about him, we just go back to my show and sing a song about him, and it's nice again. Yeah. So, you have two different sides. You have the world crying for a different part of songs, and then you have Jamaica crying for a different part of songs. Now, it's 1995, I think, Jamaica come together with the world when they realize it. But, I will be in the man. I want new dance. I'll be in the fine again. Then I will fire me up. Oh, na, 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 na. Jamaica, yeah. Rose is fine and new stem. America, yeah. Row me. Big fat sister, <laughs> nah. <laughs> so, you must say, so, we not dance to row me. Hmm. A man play a room before me kill a man, yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then room start playing and then Jamaica get to realize that. You have international songs and you have Jamaican songs. But yeah. it's still dance and music. You make it for all dancers. But they are working one at a time. So they realize that you can do three at a time, do you know? And four at a time. It's me bringing that in a Jamaica. I can't tell you that. There's nobody else that have that but me. But, three, four, five songs. But thinking around. about those albums and thinking about that time, thinking about, you know... Blessed. Mm-hmm. Blessed. Blessed. Thinking yeah. about Maestro. Yeah. Thinking still about. Blessed still, eh? right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Blessed. 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 Be blessed. Jamaican, blessed. Blessed. Yeah. Blessed. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't say. That. Right. Name I say. Yeah. Blessed. No, okay. it's, it's, yeah. pr- pronunciation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> That's really blessed. There's no such thing as blessed. <laughs> but still. <laughs> yes. The amount of tunes on there, though. Like I've, I've written down so I don't forget them because yeah, man, this, but this is me yeah. as a kid going yeah. into the yeah. record shop going new Beanie Man and yeah. spending the last money I'm buying on the album s- on the, no on the 7 on the pre on the 7 inch yes what <laughs> who signal is get them wisdom in Chris <laughs> we not be living another day for now they know I can't be sorry another day before me put the chip for 6 yeah but I'd have to do that blessed album I'd have to name it blessed blessed Anyway, we started the album, the album Wicked and Slam, all of these songs is on Blessed. So, you know, you know... Tear right Off My Garment. Tear Off My Garments and Royal Dance and, yeah, all of these songs up on Blessed. So, um, Blessed was the album where, um, I never know that I didn't make an album when I <laughs> make Blessed. So, when we don't make a song, we make um, 47 songs. Oi. And then, then, then them decide, say, um, which song we're going to choose to put on this album now? I mean, I say, right, play the one name. But every song we choose is a hit song. So we put up, who see that is get them wisdom increase? Somebody play it, now they dance it, boss. Mm-hmm. World dance, boss. But these songs release after the album release. So when the album release, it's coming like a... DJ just have the album and put on the album and they say, yeah, we're going to play from one to, and then flip over the next side and let's play one of them. Because all of those songs on the album is number one song. Yeah. In Jamaica. Yeah. Ah, it was crazy though. 
But you put that out with, was it Island Records? Island Records. Island, um, yeah. Island Records. Was that about trying to be a little bit more international with your music? No, releases? it's not trying to be a more international. I get to realise that without a label, you're not going nowhere in the okay. United States or England. Without um, somebody credible to represent you. What the many moves are more than the album. I've got to argue. I'll, I'll argue because so argue. original version of Girls Them Sugar. Yeah. Murder. Romy, Ro- old murder. dog, murder. Maestro. Yeah, Maestro, we, wicked album, wicked album. Maestro, wicked album. But, but many but moods of Moses. Many moods of Moses. Be in the man album. Yeah. I, I made the album alone by myself. Man. Really? Yeah, all right. Girls and Sugar, the reason why I have so much song on the version, when we make Romy, Zane, Patrick never liked Romy. Like seriously, oh, 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 Romy and the sister now you me and them have, have gimmicks. You more know, hear lyrics. So I say, okay, welcome the girls, them sugar. The girls, them need some bit of game of lyrics. So I more mean, lyrics. Yeah. But I say, at this me a record, you know. I mean, say, at this him a record. So I'm give Virgin, um, Island Record, um, that song. Yeah. And I give VP Romy. So VP put out Romy, probably. <laughs> Because my, my engineer, he live at Mobile, mm. and we live at town, mm. and he don't have a car. So how you get in there? Rumi. <laughs> Buy my car and give him apartment. Yes! Oh, oh. <laughs> yes! So I'm moving with him family. Well, I'm happy to have contributed to small <laughs> percentage of that. <laughs> so we said send Rumi to give VP, and... We go to America, Patrick don't know about Romy yet, you know. Not even the band don't know about it. So me and say, we are start with Punani Rhythm. I said, girl, I'm sure we have to do that in the middle of the show. I said, no. We have to play the rhythm two times in the show. So he said, oh, you mean by you have to play the rhythm two times in the show? We said, we have to start with it and we have to do it in the middle. And I said, what? The band are cussing her. Remember, the band are cussing me. This is my band. Yeah. And then I said, somebody just get up and say, gentlemen, at the end of the day, you have to play with one, don't it? Good, blessings. <laughs> Why the argument? Don't the uh, argument. If you play with me, don't play with me now, come on the stage. <laughs> Very simple. So at the end of the day, you have to play more. Yes. Let go. Panamana, mana, mana, pam, pam. Panamana, mana, mana, pam, pam. Panamana, mana, mana. I mean, I said, bass alone. Give me some bass. I don't miss it. I said, give me some bass. Let me sing something there. And then made a whole place smash up. Remember this, I said, alone. You know. Give me some bass. Let me sing something there. And then goes a boom boom, and then made the whole place smash up. And I said, sing it. Oh, na na na. Now, they've never seen this before. This is a new experience to do band in it. All right, them are pull up, and I know them are pull up for Them does a pull up. Boom, <laughs> the whole crowd has sing. So I said, no, don't argue with me about my show, man. It's my show, it's not mm-hmm. your show. Mm-hmm. You play for my show, or you're playing in my show. You play bass for being a man. Play bass for being a man. And don't go like being a man and sing for your bass. No ramping me. <laughs> yes. So go, oh, na na, please. Mash up the whole crowd and sing. And I go, so. I hold the mic out and the crowd. And the crowd start singing. It's all about round. It's not something I'm doing. But more I show them. So them don't know about my career. My career is not yours. Yeah. Yeah. So when me up on the road, I do my radar thing and my promotional thing. You there, yeah, yeah. I play with the little data. And your wife, I rub down your back and them things. While well, me, I do the hard work. So you can come benefit. <laughs> so do not tell me what. Truth now play a Jamaica now. Them never hear that Jamaica. Them hear girl them sugar Jamaica. And in them eagle of the night, them hear that a Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room a bus in America you know, and come run Jamaica. You know. And in, in England, we and had in England. both. Yes, me know. <laughs> at once, but at once for us. One time. But in Beanie, England, but, no, three. but Beanie. When you have eagle of the night, room me and girl them sugar. At the same time, time. At the same time. But imagine me, 10 years old, trying yeah. to DJ, as a DJ, what? and have to go and buy all three of them records. Yes. I had no money for months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to pay import prices. Okay. <laughs> Who am I? The girls and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> How can I? <laughs> Never will. <laughs> Never happen. <laughs> 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 yeah. But in all seriousness, 
that record, I was talking to David Rodigan about that record. Yeah. I was talking to Shawnee B about that record. Yeah. That record changed radio. Yeah, ch in the whole entire thing. All right, I like when it, ch all right, watch this now. Sim Simmer came out and um, everybody was saying, yeah, it's a nice song, man. I went to England and everybody, yeah, I like the song. The song is nice, man. It's a nice song. I'm like, why them calling my song a nice song? Like, it's a nice song. Like, so I went to New York and I was doing Bobby Kondo's show. Bobby Kondo's played the, the song and said, man, what are you doing? <laughs> the first I ever get the reaction that I want. Man said, I want you to work it and drop it back. And the next day, it was added to the radio station. Yeah. But, but before Sim Sim, I started the, the, the British thing. We do a song with, um, what's your name? Um, Money can't buy my love. Jamelia. Jamelia. And we did a British national thing. Then we do BBC Four with the, um, what do you call it? Top of the Pops thing. Yes. BBC One. Yeah, BBC One. Yeah, Top of the Pops. Yeah, Top of the Pops thing. And when Sim Sim will come out now, they got a BBC One Extra. And then put a note, this, this new thing, BBC One Extra, BBC One Extra, BBC One Extra. Every man start coming, BBC One Extra. <laughs> yeah, you have to come to BBC One Extra. <laughs> when I go to the first One Extra studio, it was a little studio. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, encouragement, sweet labor, you're going to be a huge dog. BBC One Extra, going to run England. And when it's like, you show him, like, yeah, he's like, so we do BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, BBC Four. It was on the news, all that. Next year, I come to, B to England, and BBC One Extra. <laughs> so I told you, what's going to work? <laughs> <laughs> what's going to work? Every this Jack remember when I said that on the radio, that it, it was going to work. So everybody want to interview me. I'm like, I can't do that with everybody one time. Mm -hmm. So it was a big press conference, BBC One Extra press conference. And thing. then they started to follow me to the shows and everything on BBC One Extra. <laughs> Penny man, documentary to the shows I'm in the past. So you're right. Marble was <laughs> BBC <laughs> one. <laughs> can't, can't escape us. It was wicked, man. But I'm glad that I was one of the first big dancehall artists that ever be in the it was a little studio. Yeah. Just, yeah, man, it just a start, you know. BBC, just I give you a little thing and give you a little one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, them respect the dance and music, so they might try to push it like that way. Me I said BBC one extra, must bust. Mm -hmm. I was on BBC four. I was talking to um, our, uh, the footballer, where his name? Ian Wright. Ian Wright. Yeah, I was on the Ian Wright show. And then my big up BBC one extra <laughs> from that. It was everybody like BBC one extra. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, well, next and, day, and goes fifteen straight. years later, we're yeah, still here. I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, glad. We're, we're glad to, for you to be a part of it. And like I say, yeah, it was the success of things like Who Am I? Yeah, that proved to the BBC that the audience, yes, is there for our music. Yes, man, seriously. And for a second, let, let's just... Who am I? Lift up England now. No. Who am I? Well, England has... Number 10 up. in the UK yeah. charts. Bop charts. Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody are cussing their fight, but what are you... Why, boof. <laughs> Open your eyes, let me punch you in it. <laughs> Bang! Yeah. Wake it. Beat them, man. Wake it, man. And BBC One Extra was born. Man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> You're a good God. Yeah. But I'm hearing that that track in particular is one take. Yeah. I have a song for one week, dog. I came good. from America, driving my BMW, and I hear Sean Paul on the radio. I'm like, this song, this beat need a song. Not saying that Sean Paul song wasn't good. Every song was good. Wicked songs on the beat. But it need a song. You know that song where we go, where people now have to listen, it does get one thumb, boof! Yeah. Yeah. So it was six o'clock in the morning, God. I wake up, me a jog, me a run up, up the hill. And my man said, This is Jeremy, I didn't live in 
So I finish the hill, because you have to run go up the hill. So I finish the hill, <laughs> turn back, I, I come down forward now. I stop in the yard, wake him up. It's about like 6, 6.25 in the morning. Wake him up. Man naked in a man. He man in a woman naked. Get up out there. Bear the man out of this naked woman. I look for me. Wake up by us, boy. Him look cute. <laughs> Not cute. <laughs> Man outside, Jeremy, I said, Go around, they say, Go around. Can we are Jamaican? Yeah, we used to naked people, no problem. Man. <laughs> say, Hi, tell your husband, Sammy Diane. She wake him up. And good, it's no, no problem. There is no embarrassment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is, you know, family. Yeah, family thing. So I'm going to the studio and play the rhythm. Because it was the mixed beat. Because the rhythm already mixed. Yeah. And out there playing on the radio. I mean, I say, You need a song. So, when we sing the song now, um, one of the DJ outside called me in and I said, how can I make love to a fella in a rush? I said, that's not how it goes. How can I make love to a fella? Like, stop right there, so in a rush, pass me the keys to my trucks. I guess he never get it that way. No. So he might try to tell me if I change it. I said, uh-uh, ah, not happening. From you find it to be a fault, can't you first yourself? There, I change it. And it go boom. Redman, Nelly, <laughs> P.T. Pablo, yeah. Sneakbo, Crepton Conan, four people. Everybody singing. Sample. Yeah, same, same. Murder. There's 120 people singing it last year. No? Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from all over the world, from Africa to Jamaica. Yes. Are you happy with the legacy of that? Yes, record? God. Blessings. And it's still a real. They just want to walk on a stage and go, oh, no, 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 That's it. Everywhere in the world. So after this, after this period, we, we get to 99 and we get to the doctor. Who's the man, the big wheelie, yo? The doctor. That's the who to make a silly, yo, the doctor. Now, these, these albums, now, is when we, we, you know, we're just making albums. Okay. And then we went back to the foundation of the music, which is, Tony Kelly, some Dave Kelly, you know, some original producer that we used to work with from back in the days. And we get back the original foundation of the authenticity of dancehall music yes. to get it there from which part it come from to where it is now. So the doctor was one of the albums. Right. With Bookshelf. Yeah, it was done a lot. Tony Kelly. Let him go. To, ah, Danny Dali. Brownie, <laughs> Batrick Dali, <laughs> Steely and Cleavy. Yeah, man. Yes. So it's some of the original producers them that we used to work with. We decided to do a full dancehall album. So with that as well, the collabs, the kind of combinations that you put on there, Angie Martinez was yeah. on that album, yeah. Mr. Vegas Tell was me. on that yeah. album, John B was on that album. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a dancehall album. Yeah. You mean the world to me, you take content, you take a part of me. <laughs> Wherever you bring, I give in, I give up, I give in to the fight. You're faith in me, you're trusting me, cause me to believe in me. And I just wanna tell you a murder. <laughs> yeah, I'm cried and joy. That, 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 that was a song that I wrote for my daughter, really. Really? Leisha Gay, one in a rave as we had the, the dancing thing. Yeah? Yeah, that was her song. Wow. She's my pride and joy. Not once. She's always my pride and joy. And always will be. Yes, God bless it. Yeah. <laughs> Grammy Awards. 40,000 copies. Whoa. Sorry, 400,000 400. copies. One week. I uh, said again. Repeat it. 450,000 copies. <laughs> Over 450,000 copies. Uh, after. But, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Billboard chart reggae number yes, one album. Number one album. Yes, good. It's wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked. Then I was going to the Grammy in, in bells and rings on. I was like, bells and chains. And then, whoa, oh, yeah, I get the Grammy tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my third time going to the Grammy Awards. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so I me, me put on a me, me trench coat, but I put on too early. Like, I put on like 6 o'clock in the evening, and I'm going to say, where you going in that? I was going to say, give it a little time, till 8 o'clock, till when the Grammy Awards finish. 
I saw that guy, which same time I came out, and he was like this. And I was in my trench coat, like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get that call because I think it was the first time in Las Vegas. Right. I never knew myself the desert get cold night night. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> so I made my trench coat around my arm and I said, you're not going to need that. You know, I'm like, you're a white man, you're American, you just want to say something because a black man look better than you. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I'm going to need it. You're going to need one of these later. Yeah, this is a desert. I come out, I was waiting for my car. He was waiting for his car. He was like, <laughs> I was in my trench coat. Tan, 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 tan. Man's not hot. <laughs> you want to borrow my jacket? I said, Man's not hot. Z. <laughs> Read him. That night, I, I went to have a, a, a veggie burger. I never forgot that. So I was eating the burger, and they're like, the, the Grammy's going to read out now. I go like, okay, I'm going to walk downstairs. Because I was in competition with Dennis Brown and all of them. Soon as I reach you, the Grammy go to Benny. I reach on the stage. I don't know when I reach on the stage. I just know that I was gliding. I think a little flying out. And <laughs> <laughs> some hovering. <laughs> some hovering. Some. I think I was on a magic carpet one time. <laughs> I was just sailing like I was like, yeah, yeah, I was doing the sailing thing. I didn't know when I reached on stage. I was just collecting the Grammy and saying thanks. Somebody say, well, you got to say thank you. You got to thank you. They say, you got nothing else. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't say nothing. I was waiting for the Grammy for three years. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. Every word stuck down, see me I want to thank my mother for having me. Thank my father for bringing my mother and them <laughs> something like that. But it couldn't happen. There was nothing coming out more than thank you. But the making of that album, because that, that felt like to me as a, as a listener, yeah, I there were some it. real dancehall moments. On yeah, there. man. But there was some real fusion uh, moments. Yeah, but the, the, this, the, this is virgin, dog. No, you know, every, every contract I sign, I have to show them, say, a great. Yeah. So you know you have to go into the dance hall mood, then you go America now and find the real mood now because them time we start work with Neptunes and, and you pulled dance all out of Neptunes. Yeah, they didn't know how to do it. Pharrell was like, "What are you doing to me?" I'm like, "What? We're making music." It's like, "Okay, let's do this." Sim Sima, we name one of the girls, then sugar. You know, Pharrell is the one that sang the Sim Sima in that song. Did he? Okay, you didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, now you know. And then he sang for Maya. Maya didn't know what she was going to sing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we go, take the stars of the skies. So far they sang that too pretty. I'm like, look at that girl. She is pretty. Mm. You need to give her something pretty to sing. You know what I'm talking about? Brook out, brook It'd have been a different record. <laughs> Oh, oh, Maya would never have been the same. Oh, God. <laughs> so she go, take the stars out the skies for you. There's nothing in this world that I wouldn't do. But if I, and then she take that note, I'm like, whoa. She's making it pretty, like real pretty. And then it and then me coming in, excuse me, baby, but I will just have to tell you this. It's been no hours since I had my young the tenderness. So me coming in the roughness and she did it pretty. It's a beautiful song. Number 13 in the UK charts. Yeah. And my Grammy Award song. Thank you very much. <laughs> but then you linked up with the Neptunes again in, in yeah. 2002. Yeah, boss man. Yes. I'm a gangster for life. I never leave the Neptunes. There's a lot of songs that Neptunes make that I help them with. You know? Okay. A whole heap of songs where you see them make. Even um, with the two guys, what are them name again? Clips. Yeah, the Clips. Them. I, I help them make those songs. You know? Really? Yeah, really. I remember the T.I., this bad man, you get shot. Anyway, anyway. okay, there yeah. you go. So, you know, I've been with them right through. From that one night, the fire don't leave me an inch. Anything I have to do, Jamaica. Yo, Bings, where you at? <laughs> okay, go to the airport. There's a plane waiting for you. You got to come here because we don't know what to do. White Lives John, same thing. They have to call the doctor. No. <laughs> Music sick, it needs fixing. <laughs> <laughs> call the doctor. 
But that yeah. album in 2002, Tropical Storm, yeah, was yeah. the collab with Janet Jackson. <sighs> Feel it, boy. Yeah. How was that? It was feeling good. Because <laughs> you were label mates at that point, right? Yeah. yeah it was feeling good. She said, it's all right. If you feel it, but it was feeling good. Janet is my star. I'm a huge Janet Jackson fan. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. First time I see Michael Jackson, they said, Michael is around here, go and meet him. I go exit stage left. Yeah. Not going stage right. Because, you know, me know people go on when they meet me. Imagine me, I go meet my star. I go, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> Escape through the next door. <laughs> Michael! Michael! No, it's not gonna happen. No. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Seriously. It was gonna happen if I met him. I'm gonna be like rolling on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you were able to hold it down to work with his uh, sister in Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Janet too. Mm. You know. That was the other video, I was like this. Holding it together. <laughs> What's going on in your mind at that point? See, true mother, this time I'm ugly like my papa. That come right back in my face. I'm not cute, so. <laughs> yeah. The collaboration with So Solid Crew. So, whoa, mad thing. Yo, that was. <laughs> that was frightening. So Solid Crew was like 100 people. Yes. <laughs> Did yes. you know that? Yes. Did you know that? So Solid Crew is the whole of South London. 100 people. <laughs> like 100 people just come in the studio, all of them rappers. <laughs> so it's frightening. It was a frightening experience. <laughs> I'm a bad man. Like, I'm a seriously bad man. When So Solid Crew come, they were two solid men. <laughs> it's 300 solid. Like. <laughs> Like the old black just came out in <laughs> Like everybody that live on one black just, yeah. It was, it was frightening though. Yeah. My engineer was scared. Like, and he's Jamaican. He's like, damn, dog. What's going to happen? Every man that yo, blood. Yo, listen, what's going to go? 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 What's going to they were speaking Cockney though, like serious Cockney. Like, yeah, it was serious. My engineer was nervous. He was like, oh, I come to England and I die tonight, August 11, 1997. I'm dead in the studio. 300 people. Since it was five men in the group, it was five guys in the group. It's 300 people. Boy. So solid. And man come in, hey, yo, guys, we get every man started to walk fast, like, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, they're like, please, who's going to record these lyrics? Please. <laughs> that would do the thing. Yeah, it was a beautiful night, though. <laughs> Yaga Yo was a good tune. Yeah, it I, was I, a I, very I, good tune. It was a wicked song. Because at first, I, I'm doing garage music. Yeah. I hear the garage beat, and I like it. And so Sally come to teach me how to sing on the beat. I'm like, seriously? They come to teach? No, this is not how you do it. You got to go. It's like, no, that's not how you do it. You got to go. Do, 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 do. Like, no, you got to do. I'm, saying, I'm speaking Jamaican. Who's going to hear me do? You doing the English part. Okay, it's crazy. But it was good. Because after the old recording, we went out, me and the old Trinidad people, went in the club. We couldn't even wall in the old club because you know, it got like 150 guys to stay outside. Yeah. <laughs> 150, so solid. <laughs> it was a nice experience, though. It's, it's good. I've never worked at an English group before, it was the first. I ever work with the English group. 
Yeah. <laughs> but since then, you've, you've, you know, you've, you've worked with Sneakbo. Yeah. you worked with Krypton Conan. Yeah, Krypton Conan is not a group. They, they, they're it's a duo. duo. Yeah, yeah, it's a duo. But, um, so solid is a group. Yeah. Train dread strong. So solid. <laughs> Nothing but respect to love. Yes, so man. solid. Always. Trust me, man. They, 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 they're crazy. Yes. And they love the music. That, that's the crazy thing about it. They love it. They're like, yo, um, I got another beat. You got to hear this beat. I'm like, we're doing this beat. No, you got to hear this beat. We're doing this beat. You got to hear this beat. I'm like, after we finish this beat, then I listen to that beat. When I listen to that beat, no, that, that not good. You want to hear this next 300 guys. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it to 2004. Back to Basics is the album. And your biggest UK chart hit. Yeah. Is one of your most danceable, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My point here is, you made the mainstream in the UK so yeah. accepting to dancehall music with Who Am I? Yeah. That you hit them with Dude. Yeah. And it's the biggest chart. What am I gonna do? I just gotta make more music. All right. Anyways, back to basic was again come back to Jamaica to yeah. keep the fans alive. Yeah. So the Jamaican fans in England, good. Jamaican fans in America, good. Australia, Africa, everybody, good. So in my job, you want a proper fix? Call me. Everybody know this thing that this is where we at. So when the dude released, yeah, it was frightening to me though. But why? Why it was frightening to me is um we never know said the people them hip on the music, so like, yeah, like seriously. I know in America they meet on it, but England is the original place to dance all and reggae. See? So true England is the original place to dance all and reggae. I feel them hip on somebody else. But them just wait for the next beanie man. Mm. I never know that. As soon as the song goes, BAM! I'm like, okay, here we go, England. It entered the chart at what, 20? Yeah. It entered the chart at number 20, and Jesus Christ. It just goes like, <laughs> Da da do, <laughs> da da do, da da boo them. I'm like, Bam! so I went. I came to England. The show sold out from seven o'clock in the night. The people them from around the corner. So the man, them, the Jamaican them, didn't get no tickets. Speak <laughs> English people. Because <laughs> so, it's a seven o'clock show. Seven o'clock show. <laughs> British people. The Jamaican them come late. Zim? King yeah. Beanie man. Party years. Thank you years. so much for That's your time, time man. for your stories, for your music, and for your energy. All right, thank you for the truth. Stories are book. I truth my talk. But I tell more the stories. I want this man, my brother and man, say once upon a time. Believe me, I love you. This are all up in all time. Thank you for the truth. Rest <laughs> <of my life>. <laughs> <laughs> Rest <laughs> Blessings, man. Thank you for having me, man. Pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you. Rest of us.